Here's the latest addition to the Newton hanger um, and it's, it's more of an aerobatic uh, powered plane. I was having so much fun flying the, the red and getting into a little bit of aerobatics so I thought I'd design a plane that was um, even more suited uh, to learning aerobatics. It's a 1.2 metre arm and wing, 5.5 inch plus 1.5 inch full span ailerons. Thickness is about 23 millimetres, which makes it about a 12% airfoil. Um, and it has a very narrow tail, a bit of an experiment. Tapered the tail right down to just uh, two layers of, of Depron, 6mm Depron there. And the tail forms part of the fuselage. It has a full flying horizontal stabiliser, which works well. Large rudder to help with aerobatics and the fuselage and wing are covered with uh, iron on uh, document laminating film sometimes called new stuff uh, on the RC forums. I constructed the fuselage from flat panels rather than the traditional tube method 70 centimeters long, 8 centimeters high, tail section is uh, 18 centimeters and the width is six and a half centimetres. So I glued the sides onto the bottom to start off with which defines how wide the front section of the fuselage is. Then glued the tail together uh, forming the taper down the back end and boxed in the top and bottom of the fuselage with more, more Depron. And then I covered the whole fuselage using the 75 micron iron on document laminating film which is the thicker of the two um, commonly used laminates and this added a lot of strength to the fuselage made it very stiff and the large rudder is just uh, attached to the rear section with a tape hinge uh, 9018 Metal Gear servos all round and the full flying horizontal stabiliser uh, uses a 3mm solid carbon fibre rod for an axle and a spar and that passes through a brass tube with an inner diameter of just over 3 mm so it needs to be as, as tight a fit as possible but still be able to uh, pivot freely. And for a bit more support where the brass tube glues into the tail I added a, a disc of foam and ID card sandwich on each side. The wing tie downs are my normal method of uh, carbon fibre tube and uh, ID card plastic. Because this wing has a little bit of bottom curve I've had to uh, put a little bit of packing under the trailing edge and that's just to make sure that the angle of incidence is level with the fuselage and the uh, elevator. And you can see the nose has been crunched up a little bit with uh, my early attempts at low level aerobatics. There's a big hatch in the nose and that area could be strengthened a bit with um, bamboo skewers or carbon fibre strips or something like that. Takes a bit of a, a beating there. The motor mount is 5mm plywood with big holes drilled out for ventilation and uh, weight saving. And the motor is a uh, 28, 26, 10 1400 kV uh, with an 8x4 inch prop. That gives uh, pretty good power, could easily handle a, a bigger motor which I might try one day but it's pretty good as it is. I'm using a 40 amp plush ESC and you can see there's a, another layer of foam in there uh, behind the motor mount just uh, for a bit more strength.